Now, you may dispute this characterization, but what do you think in your both life experiences and your educational experiences prepared you for assuming a leadership role? Well, I, I like to think of leadership um, uh, not as, um, as a series of uh, qualities mm. uh, that prepares one to uh, lead or mm. to give leadership to people mm. in the world. But I like to think of the best kind of leadership as emerging you know, from um, social movements, uh, as, a, as, 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 as reflecting collective ideas and collective aspirations. I had no individual aspirations to be a leader. And, uh, and to a certain extent, I still don't. Uh, and I think that uh, what I have learned how to do over the years is to accept responsibility for the vast campaign that developed around my case. Uh, uh, people probably never would have known my name uh, had I not been fired from my job at UCLA because of my membership in the Communist Party arrested and charged with murder, kidnapping, and conspiracy. Uh, uh, and it, it, it happened that at that particular historical conjunction... Yeah, but even prior to that, even before people know the name Angela Davis, mm -hmm. the person Angela Davis is assuming leadership roles in a variety of ways in uh, campaigns for the sailor who's uh, having trouble with the Navy, uh, in uh, Los Angeles, Nick, in, in a variety of ways, you're assuming leadership roles before anybody outside of your friends and, and colleagues know who you are. But, but it's also within a collective context. Yes, of uh, course, of course. And, um, and I, 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 it was a, perhaps a kind of quiet leadership, mm -hmm. uh, uh, not an upfront uh, leadership. But and, Go ahead. And you see, even those examples that you mentioned mm. happen in the aftermath of my um, uh, situation at UCLA. Mm. So I was a kind of m minor celebrity because Ronald Reagan decided that I shouldn't be so teaching. We, <laughs> so we have, we have him to thank. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I imagine my role as being that of a, of a teacher. And so when I worked with SNCC, I was the, uh, the head of the Liberation School project. Mm. When I worked with the Black Panther Party, I was uh, uh, working with the political education pro uh, project. I, I always did work that involved teaching. And I think that that would have been the role that I imagined for myself. Mm. But in, in a way, a teacher is, is a leader he or she leads the students toward knowledge. He or she um, controls, to a degree, the classroom and so forth and so on. So it, I don't know if I'm stretching too far here, but uh, the fact that you become a, a, a teacher speaks to some level of acceptance of a leadership role. Well, yes and no. Um, mm, okay. <laughs> I think that the best teachers, the best quality a teacher can have is the ability to assist someone to discover his or her own passion. Indeed. Uh, and you know, rather than uh, concentrate on guaranteeing that this person knows this and that and, and whatever, I like to, um, to teach my students how to formulate the kinds of questions, uh, uh, particularly questions about that which they tend to take for granted, that will lead to real change in the world. 